Hey there, Samantha. Okay, so we're gonna do your reading that you ordered on Etsy for your self-care uh, and what your inner child and higher self and spirit wants you to focus on uh, with regards to your self-care or any kind of messages around self-care. Okay, so we're gonna use the singing bowl to clear out the energy um, for yourself and myself. Um, please um, um, understand, I am so sorry about such um, the angle and close-up of um, the spread. Um, uh, my phone uh, has no storage on it to um, uh, record videos, so I have to do it with the iPad, and it's like right up on it. So hopefully you'll be able to see everything okay, but I will show you the cards um, when they come out. Thank you, divine. Thank you, divine source energy, divine spirit. Thank you, angels, archangels, ascended masters, uh, spirit guides, and soul family. <clears throat> Thank you for guiding, blessing, and protecting this reading. Thank you for using these cards before me as tools to communicate, to bring clarity, insight, guidance that comes from love. Thank you for allowing all involved in this reading to feel safe and loved. Thank you for using these cards as tools to deliver honest, accurate, trustworthy answers and messages. Thank you for enlightening in me clear and easy to understand accurate answers and or messages that are for the highest good and to the harm of none with peace love light and gratitude so it is namaste <clears throat> okay Spirit, please come here. Guide me through and show me clear. I am seeing set healthy boundaries. So there could be someone in your life that you may need to kind of set those boundaries with. Don't be afraid to say um, no um, to either someone or, or some people or to um, certain situations. Thank you. Spirit. Uh, I'm also seeing... Um, a piggy bank. So, um, a spirit could be wanting you to kind of focus on your um, savings, starting to save a nest egg, or focus um, on a nest egg. And if that's something you recently started doing, then just take that as validation um, that uh, to continue doing that. Um, also, seeing shadow work, there could be um, some uh, uh, healing. Um, that maybe you're um, <clears throat> not aware of that is that you're really needing to kind of focus on um, some inner child work or just some facing that shadow part of yourself. So this reading isn't very deep. It's just an overall general view of um, your uh, um, self-care. So um, this was too many cards, so I'm not going to take all these, but it is the first card on the top is give less, less fucks. Okay, so Spirit wants you to stop caring so much, you know. Um, um, it, Spirit's saying you're going to be happier that way. Also, bottom of the deck, look at that. Setting healthy boundaries. Set healthy boundaries. Setting boundaries in your life is a great way to put yourself first. Yeah. Spirit wants you to focus on um, putting yourself first and know that it is okay to say no. It's okay to put yourself first and know that um, no is a complete sentence. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, get a massage. <laughs> so um, you, you could be holding some tension or some stress in your body, shoulders, back, neck, chest, somewhere. Um, <clears throat> and spirit saying you deserve to be pampered. Make your appointment this week if you can. If you can't afford to make an appointment or you just don't have um, the time, make the time. Um, you can also like get hubby to um, give you that massage. 
You deserve it. We've got read. Okay, so if you've recently got a book, spend time reading that book. Make sure to put time out to read as much as you can. Um, the more you read, the more you learn. So there is like um, spirits wanting you to kind of um, uh, broaden your horizons too. Really spend time getting into a good book. Get your book and read it while your hubby gives you a massage. You got to look at this bottom of the deck. Get a reading. So look, yes, use divination to understand your desires and your path. Um, you know, you definitely could do like I, I actually offer um, shadow work readings. I'm going to also put that um, in my Etsy as well for people who aren't able to like I do them one on one, you know, like, um, but also like I can add that to like if you wanted to order that to, to have that reading um, like video uh, reading as well but yeah um getting a reading to really understanding your path and and where you're meant to go um and so this reading right here spirit is is validating too that this reading right here is something that you need you need to really um listen to uh what is coming what comes out in this reading thank you spirit I'm sorry it's too many cards so i put them back Thank you, Spirit. Please come here. Guide this reading. Show me clearly. Show me clearly what I need to see, Spirit, for Samantha. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. The colors that you wear, so you are a fashionista, okay? And, um, and um, you know, you do design your own clothes line, so that is amazing. Um, but this is also like um, using magic. Um, you can use color magic by wearing clothes that attract the things you want. So like if you want to attract love, then wearing more pink or red. Um, if you're wanting to you know, attract more clarity or insight, you can start wearing, you know, um, uh, like white or um, colors that kind of represent clarity. Um, if you're wanting to attract money to you, green, you know, you would wear uh, more green. Add those to your um, to your um, closet, as well as uh, maybe even designing your own clothes uh, with the um, idea in mind of using color magic uh, to um, as your um, inspiration. adding certain crystals to the fabric that attract certain things that you're trying to manifest. We've got shop smart. So yet yeah, um, spending money on experiences, not just things make memories. So yeah, you know, you can make shopping a memorable experience. Look, and I was just talking about crystals. Look, and we've got crystal healing. You know, I was talking about using that in your clothing, but use crystals to raise your vibration and renew your energy. So spirit may be trying to get you to maybe think about getting into crystals or purchasing crystals, wearing crystals, um, um, is really going to help you, um, you know, bring, you can use crystals to bring you clarity or to bring, um, luck, um, to help to open your third eye to, um, help with protection. Um, and you can put protection crystals in, in certain clothings, you know, sew it right in there if you need to, or sew it into a bra, so, um, whatever we have here. And then we've got, um, shop smart, you know, maybe, um, also like making sure that um that you are spending more money on things that actually um give you an experience here that or making memories so, um but also like um shopping smart as far as like looking for deals and and cutting coupons and stuff like that to really help save uh money because i was seeing that piggy bank that kind of saving money cutting corners to save for a rainy day. Not saying that you have to like live like um uh, like uh, where you're um feeling destitute or um you know um that lack mentality, but it's it's um it's a balance. It's like yes, you want to be able to spend because you want to trust the universe that the universe is going to provide for you, but at the same time you don't want to, you know, overspend and be risky with the money either. You know what I'm saying? 
You get it. Okay, that was too many cards, but we've got Own Your Power and Third Eye Chakra. Um, we're going to take those because I just feel like they're meant to. And then look, bottom of the deck is shadow work. And that's what I was seeing too for you. Uncover every part of you that has been repressed and abandoned and really stepping in, stepping into your own power. Fix the internal, the, I'm sorry, fix the external by changing the internal. Own your power. And you can do that with um, really going within and doing that shadow work, that doing that shadow healing um, and there are books that you can read about shadow work and opening your third eye. There are books that you can read about crystals and, and how to save money shopping. And we've got your third eye chakra is out of balance. So spirit wants you to really focus one of those things for your self care is to find ways to really um, bring your third eye chakra into alignment, into balance. It's going to um, also, once your third eye is into balance, it's really going to help you um, with your shadow work. It's going to help you um, standing in this power is going to help you trusting your intuition. And when you do trust your intuition, it does make you feel more empowered. Okay. Owning your power here. Um, uh, no longer doubting yourself, letting go of any kind of um, insecurities or worries or fears um, because you are really standing in your power. We're going to do one more card here from, from this deck just because I feel drawn to Okay, financial goals. Okay, I do look again like I've seen that as being um, an, um, a priority or needing to be a priority. Set and reach your financial goals to achieve financial stability. Um, so, uh, again, like there's that uh, focus on finances. I'm not saying that you're destitute. I don't feel that at all. But I do feel like that you um, you do have like some financial goals that you want to achieve. There could be and that could come from this smart shopping, saving, cutting corners, really sit down and um, coming up with a, um, a plan of action and um, and then, you know, setting that that goal um, is going to help you be focused you know, and coming up with a plan is going to help you be focused on um, conquering that um, that goal. We've also got social media detox on the bottom of the deck. So um, there could be some uh, um, something here on social media where, or something here regarding where you kind of just need to maybe take a little bit of a break back from social media. And underneath social media detox, we have home needs TLC. So there could be some projects or things around the home that um, Spirit is like, okay, let's stop, um, get off social media or get off um, uh, YouTube or TikTok or whatever and spend time getting that project done that you've been wanting to get done around the house. Okay, and one last card for you, sweetie. Thank you, Spirit. What is... What card here in this particular deck here best represents, best represents what um, Samantha needs to focus on at this time. Thank you, Spirit. Please come here. Thank you, Spirit. Angels, Archangels, Ascendant Masters, Spirit Guides, Soul Family. Please come here, guide this reading, show me clearly. What is one thing that Shauna should focus on at this time? Oh, I'm sorry, not Shauna, not Shauna. And I knew I was thinking Samantha, but out came Shauna. She must be thinking about me right now. So. Samantha. Oh my God, look, clean your space again. So there could be some cleaning or some sort of project or something around the house that you are, um, spirit is calling you out. You need to focus on, okay. There could be a room, a particular room in your house, or maybe there's, um, dishes that need to be washed or windows that need to be washed, some laundry that needs to be done. Um, 
or maybe there's just a particular project in the house that you've been kind of putting off or procrastinating and and want to get done and so spirit is saying that's the focus here for you okay sweetie so that's what i have for you um please uh, feel free to leave me a review and i greatly appreciate you and if you um need anything at all please feel free to reach out and the divine in me bells to the divine in you namaste